Happy Friendship Day everyone. For the extreme support you've been showing me for the past 3 months, I've decided to give you guys a small Friendship Day gift. You can gain access to all my lecture slides by donating just $5 per month. Yes, you just have to give $5 per month and you can gain access to all my lecture slides. You just have to visit patreon.com slash simple and donate $5 per month and then you can gain access to all my lecture slides. Welcome to Midwits Made Simple. In this video we are going to see about the exocrine pancreatic secretions. Now let's begin. The major secretions of pancreas are digestive enzymes, sodium bicarbonate and water. The pancreatic digestive enzymes are produced by pancreatic acini. So the pancreatic acini basically com is composed of the glands which secrete the pancreatic digestive enzymes. The sodium bicarbonate solution is secreted by small ductules and larger ducts fr arising from the acini. So bicarbonate is not secreted from the acini whereas they are secreted from the ducts. This is a thing which you need to know because the major composition of the pancreatic secretion is digest or digestive enzymes and uh, sodium bicarbonate. So the enzymes come from the pancreatic acini, whereas the sodium bicarbonate comes from the ducts. So the combination of the enzymes and sodium bicarbonate and water flows through pancreatic duct. The pancreatic duct joins with one more duct which is known as hepatic duct and these two together empty into the second part of duodenum at the um, papilla of water and this opening is surrounded by a sphincter which regulates the flow which is known as sphincter of Audi. The composition of pancreatic juice can be classified into the following two headings which is water and solutes. The solutes are further classified into inorganic compounds and organic compounds. Inorganic compounds include the ions such as sodium, bicarbonate and chloride, whereas organic compounds include enzymes and mucin. Of these, the very important pancreatic secretions are water, sodium, bicarbonate and the digestive enzymes. All the digestive enzymes in pancreas are secreted in inactive form. For, for example, they are secreted as trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen and procarboxypolypeptidase. This is because um, if they are secreted in the active form itself, those enzymes will act on the pancreas tissue and it will uh, cause destruction or coagulation of the pancreas leading to pancreatitis. So this is prevented by secreting these enzymes in inactive form. So the main theme to secrete the enzymes in inactive form is to prevent autodigestion of pancreas. So these get activated as soon as they reach the intestine. There is an enzyme known as enterokinase which is present in the uh, duodenum and upper part of jejunum on the epithelium and this will help to convert the trypsinogen which is in active form into the active form trypsin. So this trypsin can now digest proteins. The trypsin will act on chymotrypsinogen and procarboxypolypeptidase and it will activate them into chymotrypsin and carboxypolypeptidase. Now these three enzymes will act on proteins and they will carry out the digestive prop action. There is another enzyme which is known as trypsin inhibitor which is secreted in the pancreatic acini along with the inactive pancreatic enzymes. So the main function of the trypsin inhibitor is to inhibit the conversion of trypsinogen into trypsin. By doing so they help in preventing autodigestion of pancreas. So if there is deficiency of trypsin inhibitor what happens is there will be improper control or there are chances for trypsinogen to get activated into trypsin in the pancreas itself and that can lead to pancreatitis. So trypsin inhibitor is really important to prevent acute pancreatitis. The secretion from pancreas is stimulated by the following three factors acetylcholine, cholecystokinin and secretin. Acetylcholine is secreted uh, or produced from the vagus nerve which is the 10th cranial nerve Cholecystokinin and secretin are produced or secreted from the, the mucosal cells which are present in the duodenum and upper part of jejunum. So acetylcholine reaches the pancreas via a nerve whereas cholecystokinin and secretin are hormones which reaches the pancreas via blood. On stimulation by food 
in the intestine the intestinal mucosa mucosal cells such as i cells and s cells will start to produce cholecystokinin and secretin these diffuse into the blood and they will reach the pancreas via the blood stream and they act on the pancreas to increase the secretion of pancreas as you've seen in the secretions of stomach or gastric secretions the pancreatic secretion also has three phases namely the cephalic phase gastric phase and intestinal phase if you haven't seen the video of gastric secretion i've attached the link of that video in the description of this video go check it out after watching this video so cephalic phase is that uh, phase which is um, which is activated by the thought or sight or smell of food so you need not have the food in your mouth even just the thought of food or smell of food or sight of food will start secrete will stimulate your pancreas to secrete uh, digestive enzymes and bicarbonate and this is basically mediated by the vagus nerve the gastric phase is uh, stimulated by the presence of food in the stomach and by the presence of food in the stomach the pancreas is further stimulated to secrete digestive enzymes and the final phase which is the intestinal phase which is the most significant of all is by the, is mainly by the by those hormones cholecystokinin and secretin when the intestine is distended by the presence of food which is chyme or due to the presence of partially digested proteins and uh, fat etc the hormones such as secretin and cholecystokinin are secreted from the intestinal mucous cells these hormones diffuse into the bloodstream and they reach the pancreas and that will stimulate pancreatic secretion so the cephalic phase and gastric phase together account for about 30% of the pancreatic secretion whereas the intestinal phase is the most significant accounting for about 70% of the pancreatic secretion the ph of uh, ph which is required for the pancreatic enzymes activity is about 7 to 8 that is they are active at um, a mild alkaline ph they are inactive at acidic ph so that is uh, the acidic ph is mainly overcome by the presence of sodium bicarbonate in the pancreatic juices that's the main action of the sodium bicarbonate which is present in the pancreatic juices so this basically this depiction is to show the stimulation of pancreatic secretion the various pancreatic secretion by the following three stimuli in the first one we are trying to check the pancreatic secretion by giving hcl so if there is increased acid in the in, uh, if there is increased acid what happens is there will be more production of sodium bicarbonate and water compared to enzymes so the blue one is sodium bicarbonate and water whereas the red one is enzymes okay so this makes sense because if there is increased acid in the stomach or intestine what happens is uh, the pancreas will receive signals that there is increased acid and you need to secrete more base to overcome that and that's why there is more production of sodium bicarbonate and water in the second case when uh, when you give soap or which is basically fat what happens is uh, there is no significant uh, variation in the secretion of sodium bicarbonate water and enzymes so because there need not be any um, specific uh, demand for an increased sodium bicarbonate and water secretion in this case in the third case when um, you give peptones what happens is peptones are basically partially digested proteins what happens is there will be increased production of the digestive enzymes compared to sodium bicarbonate and water this is because peptones are not acidic and they don't basically um, need to be neutralized by base so the sodium bicarbonate and water secretion is not so much compared to that which was which occurred in H, uh, when hcl was there increased hcl was there so in this case mainly the digestive enzymes are required to digest the proteins so their concentration is more in the secretion So before we finish this video, you need to know this fact that a daily average pancreatic secretion is about 1 liter. This can be asked as a one marker anywhere. Please help me make more videos by donating me on patreon.com slash simple. If you like this video, please leave a like and comment your suggestions below. And share this video to your friends, subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon to get notified as soon as I upload a new video.
once again, happy Friendship Day and thank you.